Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Neat, and I am quite honored to be creating for you this by proxy distance energy work session. I'm a Reiki master teacher working out of New York, and this is what I do, you know, in my business. <laughs> but uh, if you're not really into energy work and you want to just use this as a relaxation tool, or some form of entertainment in some way, like a novelty, by all means, you know, I am more than happy to play a part and serve in whatever way that means. So, um, just there's that, right? <laughs> the theme for today is going to be confident, self-esteem, courage, and a bit of fiery element, I want to say, in terms of the inner fire, the inner flame. We're going to touch a little bit on the concept of ego and ego from the way I look at it and you know I'm sure many other people agree as well but ego certainly isn't a bad thing. It's uh, our personality like I have incarnated or I am in this lifetime as Jillian and I have desires to connect with people and assist and support and also have some personal things to fulfill as well in my personal life and stuff like that, right? So I'd really love to empower the ego as in I'm confident being me in this lifetime with my gifts, not separate, not separate from others in that form of egoic uh, philosophy necessarily or perspective, but rather I am who I am and I make the mix here. We're a synergy on this this planet, you know, and what we're bringing in through our ego, through our personality, through who we've, in a sense, chosen to be in this lifetime with our specific soul desires and experiences that our soul is requesting to have a confidence about that and know how important that is to the dynamic of the collective here is a very uh, empowered place for us to be, isn't it? So let's get started with our candle and we'll move on. I'm using again this meditation candle from Tip of the Moon. I know I showed this in my last video. I've actually ordered two more candles, <laughs> a grounding one and a divination for my for my home, and I'm going to keep this one here. Uh, they smell very strong there. They do fill the room, and it's absolutely lovely. They're soy, which I appreciate a lot. But I'll just make a little sound for you. One of my favorites. I still are. a little portal through the ether and it is daytime right now so um you might hear some cars i'll make any edits to take out anything too significant but you're gonna hear some cars probably so again connecting us to this little door this little flame this little portal <laughs> this little space of communication and setting an intention on behalf of my and your and everyone else's highest and greatest good, imperfect comfort and alignment. I'm so very honored to facilitate this little by proxy session for you today to assist with boosting your confidence, your self sense of self esteem, your integrity and importance, or feeling valued in yourself, knowing that you are here for a purpose and even if you don't know what that purpose is right now truly the purpose is to just be yourself isn't it so
to empower the ego from this beautiful place, the higher path of ego. As in my lessons and experiences and who I am may serve someone else. Um, I had a very nice, I'm not going to say her name because I don't know how she feels about that, but someone I've known for since I started my channel. And she's been through how? She's been through some serious depression, some walked through the fire, you know, and we think, why did we do that? Why did we have to experience that? And now she's moving on to take classes to become a therapist and support others in that path. And that is it, isn't it? We walk through hell so that we can lead others through more safely. And that's the higher road of ego. And I don't mean to say that everything should be hell, so please forgive me. I'm not trying to impart that, but our experiences, our joys as well, our love is, is ours to, to share, to serve with. Change, a little energy cleansing, a bit of fire, transformation. The fire of our soul. Just gonna play with this around you very carefully, of course. Very gently. Feel a fire in your abdomen. Up, empowering you as we release all doubt, confusion of who we are. Any discomfort with being ourselves. I'm going to focus on the jaw. The throat, jaw, up to the ear. How have we been speaking of ourselves? What did we allow <laughs> into our consciousness in any way? Whether it be from others, from media, from... <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Or any area that imposed some kind of limitation, some kind of requirement, making us feel we need to be a certain way, or that we weren't good enough. You know that's bullshit. You know that's not true. It's just a ploy to get you to buy some crap, <laughs> or to take away your power, your connection to your divine self. Blowing away like the smoke. Okay. Just gonna pop this little rope incense into my my little incense case here. a little closer. I do have quite a few, I would say. 
chosen for this. The first is this amethyst that's actually from Queen of Serene's shop. And I wanted to bring this out first to use to comb through your energy body to begin or assist further with cleansing of relaxing, of clearing, of transmuting. I love clusters for their kind of cleansing properties. All these little terminations pointed in all these different directions like a comb, I want to say, or a brush. This one is one of the most beautiful dark purple colors. So I'm just going to focus on connecting and channeling and sending through this beautiful amethyst to you. These little comby lines, brushing lines. Just releasing again, just like the smoke, any doubts or anxiety around stepping into our power, any guilt or, or bad taste in our mouths with being proud of who we are. Anything can be extreme, right? So when we talked about the ego, I'm sure some people feel a little confused, like thought the ego was so bad, but that's not true. The ego holds us together. The ego is what collects our energy into this form. Um, like prana. I don't know if you've heard. I'm sure you have, obviously, of prana. But prana is known to be an energy in everything. So in the stone, in the walls, in the lights, in the air, in everything that is even lifeless, we could say, or, or without movement, without thought, without, um, a certain level of consciousness, we could say, there's still an energy there, isn't there? But it is our ego that collects this energy and uses it to hold together, we could say, or to, to, uh, for nerves, for our breath, for, uh, taking in oxygen, for moving our bodies. So the ego is quite important. It's the identity of self in this form that draws to it by will, prana energy to be used for its will. So how could that be bad, right? That's not bad. <laughs> it's bad if we use it in ways that I am isolated and I'm the only one that matters and I can't relate to you. We're not connected. That's kind of the more negative tone of, of ego. Because everything has good and bad all wrapped up in a little dance. So let's clear and relax into ourselves gently, comfortably. I want to focus on the projections around you, collected in your energetic field. Just going down your back. Clearing that, you know, what other people think of us, good or bad. Not that we have to clear good, but what I mean by that more is harm, harm intending or no harm intending. Because regardless, if people hold us in the space, let's say of pity, like they love us, but oh, poor her, oh, you know, that kind of thing. They're not helping. They're not helping us. So that was more of what I meant. I would never intend to release anything that supports you. Only what holds us in any space of disempowerment or disconnection from our heart's desires, our soul's calling, our mission work. Just want to focus on your palm points. And the other. Just 
open up the flow looking at my pretty cool kind of crazy ear cuff thing this is from happiness boutique i'm gonna put a link below for you they had quite a few of these and i thought it was so badass very warrior like and kind of bold so i thought it'd be really appropriate for this confidence session because our self-expression is clearly an empowered place if we if we step into it, isn't it? How do we dress? How do we present? Is it for other people? Is it to fit in? Or is it for us and what we want to be and how we want to express who we are and show up? Masculine, feminine, fluid. Hippie, <laughs> nerdy, preppy, athletic. It's important to let that true you shine out in ways that you feel called to. Not in a pressured way, of course. So here I have this really beautiful... This is my dyslexia coming at you. You'd think after all the times I've done this, I need to focus on my ring. Okay. Well, this is a piece of um, mutilated smoky quartz, and I thought it would be great to help with calling in our spirit guides, our spirit helpers, of channeling more than the spirit helpers but their support in you of who you are in this lifetime support of you and your confidence in your abilities in your desires and your path that they are here to help you and i just thought it'd be nice to honor them our ancestors this is from earthling 360 And then I have some smaller pieces. Here is a gold sheen obsidian. It's quite hard to see. But I thought that the gold sheen coming from the dark of the stone really spoke to me about shining our light, being confident, this inner golden glow we can tap into and we're not forcing anything you know well maybe you can see it there a little. it's not about being forced to be exposed or vulnerable that's not what i mean but more so showing up when we feel called and honoring ourselves in the most appropriate way These are also quite protecting stones, protective, excuse me. So if you're having trouble connecting with your confidence and stepping in to show the world who you are perhaps or, or show yourself what you're truly capable of or give yourself that energy, sending that into yourself, being grateful for who you've incarnated as and the path you have chosen. If you feel a need for protection in that space, obsidian is quite helpful. Volcanic in nature, and I absolutely love the gold sheen obsidian specifically for confidence. I don't know. 
another little beauty I've chosen is this smoky quartz point. It's pretty dark. Super pretty. And I'm gonna use this as a wand to start pulling out anything that doesn't serve or is a lingering of of pain associated with the self of any self-hatred you know it's hard for me to even talk about that with you guys right because i don't want to <laughs> put that in your head but we do hate ourselves sometimes don't we i know i hate myself sometimes when i'm feeling really really low i think it's quite natural you know for us to kind of go there in the the darker places of our experiences the darker days but let's validate that that's an experience and it's not truth necessarily and focus on balancing first and then going deeper stirring and pulling out any any of that we can validate it of course we need to validate it Let's let it go because this session is all about loving the self, being confident in our abilities, confident in what we've come here for, and just to experience. Actually gonna leave this one by your feet pointed down to help you ground and continue releasing. with that as long as it's not presented as natural citrine, you know? So if you don't know, a lot of citrine, especially these ones that look like this, <laughs> used to be amethyst and then they were heat treated to make this kind of golden yellow orangey color. This one has some cool little freckle inclusions in it, if you can see. And I love this piece. It's one of the first citrines I ever had, actually. And I was wearing it in a necklace for a very long time and started to use it in my practice here. So, just like what we were doing with this smoky quartz and releasing, we're going to work the other way here with this stunning little citrine to focus on the solar plexus to balance and release, specifically release codependency, dependency type issues, feeling like we can't do something without someone else, whether it be their support, them doing it for us, or their approval, um, feeling like we are not enough alone, and I'm not trying to say that we must be alone, but I, I personally believe that I succeed much more when I am okay being alone. <laughs> I'm okay being independent, you know? So that's what we're going to focus on here. We're going to start with this balancing motion again and sending in the strength and feel it go all the way down like you're taking a sip of warm tea and it goes down your throat, down your chest and into the lower part of your, of your I'm sorry, the upper part of your abdomen by your lower ribs and this is warmth, this warm, cozy vital, empowered kind of feeling, like drinking sunlight, right, down, feel it running down your body and falling into this very comfortable space in your tummy. We're 
time. Some energy of balance. Drinking sunlight, the warmth going down the back of your throat. Down your tubes here. <laughs> I don't know the right word. Through your chest, warming your chest, empowering your heart and falling and resting into your tummy near your solar plexus so sorry i'm quite popular lately <laughs> all right so citrine is a great stone for confidence for sunlight for warmth for fun i want to say the fun of being alive of being who we are this also into your palm points. Focusing on your receptive palm point, whether that's left or right for you, your receptive palm point. Tapping in this sunny warm energy to wash through you, travel up your arm, move throughout your body, and then flowing out dominant palm point, whatever that, whichever that one is for you, in your ability to create, to show up as your authentic self, to share, to express, to take action, to stand tall, just brushing it off the fingertips. Getting close to the <laughs> last of the stones here. Right, so this is a type of serpentine that has this really gorgeous um, pyrite uh, veins in it. Pyrite being another great one for confidence. And I just wanted to just connect with this. this my thoughts on the energy of serpentine for this session theme of confidence and self-esteem and personal empowerment is the raising, rising of your own dualistic energy, your own alpha and omega, to be empowered through your sensations, through your personal energy and personal experiences of joy, of self, of pleasure and passion and the thrills of being alive. Right. I'm just gonna kind of sneak this around you in these loops, focusing to send this energy through as if it's coming through this cute little cushion shape stone. Has raising up, not forceful, just supporting your own personal flow. Hear a truck out there. I don't know if it's gonna make a lot of noise. Here I have a looks like a crystal shard, right? Like in the dark crystal. This is a green calcite from Monk and Moon. And I just love the shape so much. Calcites are so jelly-like and just, I don't know, they're just smooth and weird. <laughs> but they're wonderful energy amplifiers. And I thought the green would be so perfect for that connection to your soul. For your soul 
as it has come down into your personality or you as you are in this lifetime and I wanted to work with this because it's so perfect as this little pen or little wand here to I don't know the right word here, I almost said attune, but to assist with the soul level attunement, to assist with your connection to hearing what it is you want, to release any confusion or limiting self-talk or limitations at all in terms of, oh, but I can't do that, or why would I do that, or that's silly, or whatever, so... And we talk about this all the time, it's quite important, but for this theme, for this confidence of who you are and just, yes, you know, I really want to help to like reach up into these fiber optic kind of cables that your soul travels through or has traveled through and this piece of it is in you and you're watching me now kind of thing and call down this connection in a way that is magnetized almost to this point to support the flow and it fully being reached in your heart space. Okay. You might wake up from this session and have some very clear callings However, you might have some kind of odd callings, some, oh, that can't be it kind of callings. And my suggestion is please listen to what these, these requests are. Listen, if it's just simply taking a different route home, if it's calling a friend, if it's getting a book, if it's anything that seems like it's too small even perhaps, please do it, you know. Use discernment, nothing dangerous, of course, but please listen this is the path and when we speak of the path that's what i'm talking about it's being guided by my soul and what my mission might be here it's just calling it's like i'm like magnetizing these little messages down and depositing them in your heart and that was my stomach <laughs> don't be alarmed <laughs> I'm gonna get tacos after this. Okay. Alright. And finally, I think I have this fossil and it's not a knife and I'm not going to stab you with it so please don't be alarmed but it is a little sharp looking, you know and my intention here is to use this as a kind of comb as well so more gentle, like this to assist with healing the lineage of perhaps self-hatred or the lineage of not trusting ourselves completely or i can remember looking at my mother who was quite beautiful she looked like freaking daryl hannah but like just a little like skinnier you know like bonier or whatever <laughs> and her hating herself and hating her body and and how that was i always oh, picked up on that and how i hate parts of my body because of that or i used to anyway so what I'm trying to communicate here, I think, is the addressment of the lineage or the passing on of lack of confidence. The things our parents had, whether, you know, we can identify them that we picked up from them or not, you know. Um, what did I pick up from my dad? Um, a An idea of lack, an idea that I can't do what I want to do and support myself doing so. A feeling that, oh, that's how it is and you always have dead and you always, you know, like, 
I've transmuted that, but thank God, you know, so I'd love to allow what I've healed in my life to come through for you as a transmutation of any ancestral, oh my god, my stomach, sorry, I am a little hungry, I had a busy day and I didn't eat yet, I'll be okay, I promise, I'm sorry for the noise, <laughs> but, um, the lineage, the passed on, the, um, ancestral lack of confidence or doubt or or disempowerment whatever that might be we honor our ancestors we honor our parents but let's let's cut that shit out okay right so and again i'm not going to use this like a knife i just want to kind of come down and just brush away, all right? So I hope this doesn't bother any of you. Moving ancient associations of self-sabotage, of pain, of hatred, of judgment, of critique, Of allowing some kind of beauty standard to impose its BS on us. We're all beautiful, we're all unique. We're all here doing our best. But let's clear that ancestral kind of, I'll call it karma, karmic kind of passed on stuff. And let's make damn sure we don't pass this on to the next generation. Let's be responsible for our own energy. And that will carry over, without a doubt. Just want to center again, because this feels quite um, important. set an intention, please do, to release any imposed or picked up disempowerment from your family or upbringing, the people who made impressions on you in your life. I don't know how you feel <laughs> about squid, but they are a quite wise species, squid, octopus, and this is a ancestor of the squid or octopus. So maybe if you close your eyes, you can see these little angelic <laughs> floating Spirit guides come and start to wash away, pull away, pluck away, and heal and transmute that energy. Okay. Now I am going to use the pointy part, but I'm not going to poke it at you. And I'm just going to make a little symbol here on your receptive palm point of empowerment. And self-love. And on your dominant side, I'm gonna use some symbols of truth. Love. And I'm called the right honor.
One last little thing to show you here is this little pyram pyramid that my friend Sarah gave me. Sarah has a YouTube channel. I believe it's called Sarah Sows Seeds. And she does these so she has such a sweet energy. Oh my god, she's a ray of light. Um, she's actually a Reiki master as well. Um, I will put a link to her channel below. But she gifted this to me the last time I saw her, and it is a copper uh, pyramid or tetrahedron. And I just wanted to use this as this place of empowerment, <laughs> obviously, of confidence, of structure of the self, of knowing we are so connected and all we have to do. I'm just going to pause while that car is outside with the music. Sorry about that. But if you want to see yourself inside of something like this, a pyramid, a healing chamber, a facet of your energy, or a way for you to tap into your own energy as this pyramid structure is around you, so supported, so empowered, sorry if I keep using the same word, but so strong, so purposeful. I don't know, this really wanted to come out today. spray. I just want you to see yourself in all your power, in all your strength, in all your love of self, your abilities, your uniqueness, your, your stress, your lessons, your opportunities to alchemize gold from the shit we might have been given, you know? Spray my hand. And we're going to work on channeling some Reiki. Specifically to access the solar plexus and the heart. These waves of loving yourself, of confidence in who we are why we're here, even if that is not crystal clear at this point. We are here for a purpose, and that purpose is just to be us. Hey, <laughs> to know ourselves, to make the world a better place. And how we do that is by being true to ourselves. I might be a decent person if I was, you know, working at my old job, but would I be truly me? Would I be truly happy, but would I be truly living up to what I'm capable of? You know? Not to say we all have to work for ourselves, that's not what I mean, but part of my purpose is serving in a sort of spiritual way. <laughs> Casting your golden, orangey kind of color, like gold, like honey, like turmeric. This ginger kind of taste in my mouth, you know? system rising, moving, flowing through your body, going to exactly where it needs to go. Pay attention to this, pay attention to any sensations in your body, or even the absence of sensations, if there usually are some there.
little fire below your feet, a little warmth, a flame ignited. And it rises and gets bigger and bigger. Hope your body encompassing you so it's bigger than you. It's big orangey golden flame. I just want to thank you so much for allowing me to be a little part of your path today. I want to give a special thanks to those of you who are joining us in the Patreon community and just holding that space there, being yourself over there, whether you're quiet or shy and don't want to post, or you're contributing and connecting with other people. I am so honored and excited about this space. I can't even tell you. Um, over there, if you don't know, we do um, two extra videos monthly, sometimes more if, if it works out, but I don't want to commit to stuff and then let you guys down. So it's a two-month commitment, essentially. One is for a Zodiac-themed zodiac season themed discussion and session and the other is for more of a lesson or a teaching with also a supportive asmr style energy session as well um i think that that's it <laughs> i'm very excited i'm about to go on my retreat and like holy moly so if i am slow to reply you know please just know that i'm i'm in uh, South America, <laughs> so it'll be, I don't know exactly what the deal is going to be, I'm sure that there'll be internet, but I might be busy in general, um, so just hang in there, <laughs> I'm going to do my best, I just want to, again, thank you so much for being here, for letting me play my part, for, um, the space that you hold as yourself, and the work you're doing in your life, and how that's making these ripples through time and space, and supporting other people. I've seen so much transformation in the comments, uh, shared in the comments. I've seen so many beautiful messages come through, and I'm just so grateful to be even the tiniest piece of, you know, support to anyone, so thank you. I'm gonna stop rambling now. From the bottom of my heart, as always, namaste.